Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do that than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. With me now, we've got Sarah Caper from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation's Ag in the Classroom program. Sarah, it's great to have you back. Glad to be back. Go ahead and remind us real quick. I know you're in the busy season. Yes. What, tell us a little yes. bit about what you're doing in Champaign County Schools. Well, right now we've got all of our water towers in schools. We, we have 13 that were, uh, we had great donations this year and they are um, great this year. First semester was great. Second semester, um, we're trying lots of new things in those towers. And we are in the season of incubation now. We've got lots of baby chicks being hatched all over, all over our county. So. There's a lot of great things happening in schools. Schools, teaching yeah. kids about agriculture and teaching about agriculture and I think we're gonna learn a little bit today about one of the most important parts yes so this I feel silly talking about it with you because you are the <laughs> expert in water cycles yeah I guess yeah. That's right. yeah and in the month of March we see lots of changes, don't yeah. we? Yeah, we yeah, see we... the solid, the liquid, the gas, all of those things. But it's important for kids to know about water cycles. And what better way than to play a game? Oh, so on, right? yeah, I know you're the game yeah, guy. Yeah, I love some games here. Yeah. So <clears throat> Illinois Ag in the Classroom came up with a really great game. You'll find all the plans um, on our website through WCIA. But this is called Water Cycle Jing Jenga. And um, kids can learn the process of, or the cycle steps of the water cycle by playing Jenga. Fascinating. So there is a great um, key. Uh, and by the way, all I've done is I bought a, you can buy an off brand as well, but this is a Jenga set. Um, and what I've done is according to the key that they've provided, I've, I've colored certain ends uh, of the Jenga with a, um, I used a permanent marker, oh, nice. but you could also use a paint marker. Oh, definitely. That's just fine too. And they match and with what's on the key They here. match with what's on the key. So a blue one is uh, precipitation, uh, green is water uptake, um, and pink is sublima sublimation. So there are lots of different codes and, w and we could go through all of that with our students as we're teaching. So what are we doing? We gotta pick some out and try so and match the key? You can play this game a lot of different ways, but you could take turns pulling pieces out according to the cycle so that you're following the okay. cycle. So you could do that and you could check that box and say I've completed that part of the cycle, go on to the second part of the cycle and so on. That's the first way you can play it. And of course, as as always, if you tumble the tower, you're out. Okay, so done. I'm gonna start okay. grabbing one here. So, so if I take path one, that. Yep. So, so I gotta find a red one? You can find a red one. Red, red one. is evaporation. And when you pull it, the student could be required to say what's evaporation or what part of the cycle is evaporation. So then, and then you could go on to the the orange. So which, while, while I'm doing this key, another student is doing a, that the, same key yes, on the same and tower. They would, they would take their turn. And gotcha. so it would be orange for condensation. There's an orange one. Try and pull that out. Yep. I don't yeah. think I'm going to knock the tower down without you helping me out here. Right. Well, yeah. I didn't know if I was jumping in or not. <laughs> Jump but in. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's start so pulling So I could here. do blue then, precipitation. Sounds like we're going to have some of that coming up. Oh, I'm not going to take that one. I'm going to yeah. oh. At some point you knock it over. See, at it's... some point I'm going to knock that over. I can... There we go. I got a precipitation. I oh, love this idea that you're this. taking educational concepts and combining them. Yeah. Yeah. It's really great. And it goes really well with our um, water ag mag. Super great with um, facts and information. Kids can learn about 90% of the wa Earth's water is salt, 3%, 97%, sorry, 3% is fresh water. Uh, it poses the question, are you drinking the same water that dinosaurs drank? Interesting. That's fascinating um, to think about. Yeah. So, and we have some great books oh, available. Perfect. Water, we'll lady. Um, water is water is my favorite. So lots of books um, that I'll have up on the website as well for your use and educational purposes are always um, open to books. Well, I so. think as we finish this here, then I've got to knock the right? <laughs> There we go. Of course. Got to have the fun. I, I blew that one. Uh, this is a great fun lesson. Yeah. Kids are going to love yeah. this. You have the uh, resources and links and more on this. If you want to get all those details, connect with Ag in the Classroom. We're going to connect you right on our website, WCIA.com.